Plexus comes from two ideas that I had in the 1990s. At that time there were two technologies that were really uh, developing kind of separately but, but rapidly. One was uh, mathematical optimization, so linear programming, integer programming. And the other was that spreadsheets were starting to develop programming functions. I saw an opportunity to bring those two together and I wrote a program which basically linked industrial strength optimization to Excel. The second idea was to look at the way databases were designed. So Plexus has a system that separates the design of the system from the user's data. And that was unique. It allowed us to continually upgrade the software, add features continuously and seamlessly. Two parts to that. One is this idea of using optimization like formal mathematical optimization to derive all of the results. And the second was to design software that was, was built to change, built to be upgraded. We wanted one source code that could solve all problems. The first real milestone came after the California energy crisis. I spent a lot of time over in the US during the early 2000s, building on the software and making it run on those very large scale US systems. That really got us from a small local model to an internationally recognised product. When we started this, betting the whole house on optimization was quite a risky uh, move. But I saw the potential. An optimization will produce a 100% accurate result. You know it is the optimal solution to the problem that you are solving. Robustness refers to the fact that when you change the inputs to a mathematical problem, the results are intuitive it gives you another optimal solution and you can accurately compare those two solutions knowing that the optimization or the algorithm underneath has done the right thing. Academics use Plexus a lot and it's mainly for teaching uh, and for research. An academic will really like using Plexus because the solution method is completely open, they can see how to model and then interpret the results. Plexus is also easy to customise, so it's good for research. They can make changes and experiment with their ideas. Then you've got consultants who are using the software to uh, produce reports, to do studies for commercial clients and also for industry. The key thing they need to do is to be able to run multiple scenarios and trust the results. When you make changes in the Plexus input database, you know that you're going to get intuitive results out the other end. Next you've got commercial customers. They can use Plexus to forecast the market, to do budgeting and so on. And finally you've got the government type bodies that operate around markets that need to use the software. They really need a tool that matches the market that they're operating. And again, the open sort of architecture of Plexus means that you can benchmark it exactly against a market. So a market designer to come in and say, well what if we made this rule change? What sort of effect would it have on this market? Well they can take Plexus which is designed to emulate many markets around the world and make those changes and experiment and see how, if that uh, had the desired outcome. I think from a technology point of view, we sort of future-proofed Plexos back at design time, making it easy to change and so on. So we're continually adding features so we stay relevant. In general, whenever there's change in an industry, that's when you need a tool like Plexos. And all I see ahead is more change and more application of the software. We're a lot more than just a software vendor. The, the product is complex. The, the topic area is, is complicated and it's highly analytical. So we end up being sort of a teacher and a mentor to our customers, not just a supplier of software but it's that kind of constant interaction with customers and taking them on the journey of learning the industry, the capabilities of the software, and expanding their mind as to what they can, you know, the possibilities of what they can do.